these are all the bits <laughs> so I've got to tidy all this stall it all away label it and make this kind of garage a workspace for the winter CX 500 C 1982 it's a V2 the first uh, v, v engine Honda made uh, it's it's an 80 degree so uh, 40 degrees and 40 degrees and push rods single cam clutch gearbox oil filter pump starter stator alternator the drive shaft um, water pump thermostat that's basically all I know so we'll figure it out as we go along basically so I'm going to start at the top I want to try and get this off so thermostat housing water pipes take the heads off go from there from top to bottom start with just getting this hanger off first I need some I need to label everything as I go this would be a good Things off this, it's gonna go and get um, powder coated, including this hanger. So, I will mark these. So, I'll take them off. Now, I'm no expert, so when I don't follow me for verbatim when doing this, I'm sure there's probably better ways to do things. And I'm probably, probably using terminology that's wrong as well. Uh, nuts are the same. 
washers are the same. I've got a bit bent, dimpled. But anyway, I'm going to bag. I need a nice little box for all these. And looking forward. No point really labeling these because they're going to get treated. They're the same, can stay. I can, why not? Left hand, right hand. Colour to do this. And yet decided that the whole theme. So we'll see. It means you can't really change it. I'm only doing this once. Really. Okay, so I think we need to get this off. Hoping not to shoot any bolts. Oh, fuck. I'm excited about this engine, you know. 
estimate anyway. All fun. Okay, so two bolts, the same. And I'm sure there's one. There's a few more. It's 40 year old bolts is Clip here. Show you this. Oil pressure light, possibly. Temp, water temp. It's a bit sorry looking. Might have to do something with that. Right. One, two, three, four. I'll put heat heat blanket, something like that. Heat shield, there you go. Heat shield with bracket onto thermostat. The bolts. I can tie it to the natural thing. Right next. Nice. You know, it's 
water and heat. Okay. Thought this might cause problems, but so far so good. I'm interested to see this condition. Okay, four bolts all the same size. Okay, but obviously change it. Four bolts. And there's nothing loose. It's two seals. Three seals. the heads. It's a bit unique this engine. So the heads are twisted compared to the uh, perpendicular cam. Uh, but they're kind of twisted uh, at an angle basically. The reason was to get the carbs going in, so it doesn't, you don't touch your legs with the carbs, you know. Um, and to do that, they, because of this twist, they had to use push rods instead of a chain or a belt or whatever. Otherwise, you know, the chain would be twisted also. So that's why you, it's, it's got push rods, I believe. But moving on, that's not gonna fit, is it? Let's see what we have under here. Side at a time. 
Okay. Which one? Left. Let's go left. Always hanging to the left. Right, point it towards you. Okay, rocker covers. Let's have a look. everything slid off nicely okay you might have a problem here. That's not a problem. Okay. These are actual seals. These washers. I thought, oh shit, something's missing. So you see, it goes back. That's the seal there. Okay. Oh lordy, <laughs> now I'm getting into it. So, two push rods. I keep dropping that. Oh, there's a gasket there. It goes on the centre. And what to say? A cradle. Head bolts, adjusters, valves, some oil drain hole, spark plug. I'll just take the preload, put the tension out these springs. You'll notice there's a little square that's to be the tension. Okay. Loosens all the tensions of the spring. Apart from this side, we have got. There is a gap, is it? Not really, actually. Let's keep going with that. I just don't want anything bending or when it all comes off.
Right. Head bolts. How these are going to come off, but we'll see. Uh, need to strap it down. Use the wall, stop it turning. Hello, came loose. Oh, fuck me. It cracked. Do have a bigger bar. Might be a bit of grunting. <laughs> okay. Loose. 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 Tidy. So, let's take this. Right off. My right, bolts have come out. Near the oil. I'm gonna get some paper roll. Okay, locker covers. In case we missed that. A6 is forward. Push rods. Left hand forward upper. Left hand, aft, up. The battery died in the camera, so. right hand side off exactly the same as the left all labelled up so it's time this is the breather the cylinders you can see comes up in here Side, 
it's time now for these cylinder heads to come off. I could always, I don't know, where all the heat is, so the gaskets and swearing and hitting. Have a go, you never know, might just slide off. So, basically, just trying not to damage the mating surfaces. It's hammer time, isn't it? Hammer time. It's a soft hammer, this. I think I'm probably going to need a bit of wood. Shit, that came off easy. I was not expecting that. It's my favourite tool. Right, so here we go. And spark plug there. Look. Dowels. No idea what that is. I hope I didn't lose anything then. an oil jet or something. There you go, old gasket. Replaced with an OEM or a very good quality one eventually. How are these cylinders looking? Yeah, really. The cylinders are nice and shiny. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Put this to one side. Right, next one. Are you going to be as kind? I'm just going to smack it there. 